Well, speaking of adventurous people, you re may remember us telling you about a woman from Western Supermare who spent four months on a remote island in Antarctica. The facilities there, basic to say the least, with no running water, no toilets either. Well, I went to see Hannah Johns while she was there back in March. We'll be speaking to her in a moment about her plans to return. But here's a reminder of what life was like on Port Lockroy. More than eight and a half thousand miles away, with the landscape of icebergs and whales to navigate, getting to Port Lockroy is no mean feat. Hannah Johns and three other women were stationed there for four months when I met them, running the most southerly post office in the world and counting the thousands of penguins that make their home on the island. Do they ever get cold? No, actually they get hot right. and they will just be panting and the colour of their feet will change to try and regulate the uh, blood flow and therefore cool themselves down. Not only is it icy cold, but the conditions for staff are basic. No showers or toilets. But that hasn't put Hannah off. She's planning on returning to the island to take up the post once again. And Hannah joins us now. Um, we'll talk about your plans to return in a moment. Now, it was lovely to see you in Antarctica, Hannah, but it's lovely to see you back in the West <laughs> Country too. It's a bit warmer here than it was there. It was cold that day, wasn't it? It was very cold that day, yes. <laughs> you were out there for four months. What was it like when you came back to luxury? Um, well, actually, I only had my first bath the other day, so I got so <laughs> used to just being told when I could shower that it took me a bit of time to realise, oh, I can now actually have this luxury of a bath, which is very nice. <laughs> so you must be loving being back here where you can just sort of do those sorts of things and you're not surrounded by penguins, I guess, mm -hmm. as much as anything. Um, Port Lockroy was a, was a research station until uh, 1962. You've got to do loads of things. You've got to run the museum, the shop. You've got to do loads of maintenance. It's not the easiest four months, I would imagine. It's not easy, no. It's uh, very demanding physically, uh, mentally, emotionally, but every second is just worth it. You just look around and see where you are and it's just so rewarding. It's hard to explain to anyone who hasn't been to Antarctica how remote it is. I mean, it takes a very, very long time to get there. Was it worth it? Was the experience what you expected it to be? Yeah, without a doubt, it's the best thing I've ever been able to do. So I'm very proud of myself for being able to get there in the first place after years of trying mm. and never a moment passed when I didn't want to be there. I didn't actually want to leave either. So, <laughs> and, and you yeah. hear people all the time saying um, certain experiences are a once in a lifetime experience, partly because you only want to do them once, <laughs> but you want to go back. What, what do you think you'll achieve by going back again? More of the same, actually. It'll be very different next year because the team will be different, the dynamics will be different, but I don't think I could get enough of just being there, really. Just everything about it is just ideal for me. Your your mum, um, you were speaking to me earlier about this, she found out that you were going back again by watching the telly. Yeah. Uh, were you in trouble <laughs> about that? <laughs> um, no, not in trouble. I think deep down she knew that I would want to go back, but I just hadn't mentioned it. Mm. <laughs> and we can see a penguin over your shoulder there. There are a lot of penguins on Port Lockroy. Just tell us a bit about penguins and whether you miss them. Um, I love penguins. They just make you laugh no matter what you're doing because they, they're rather ungainly on land mm -hmm. so they'll only take a few steps and then the poor things will fall over. <laughs> so you just want to pop them back on their feet again and when they're young uh, they chase the parents to get food so then everyone's falling over each other. <laughs> they fall asleep on top of each other wow. so they're just adorable. We will be seeing lots more of them in November. Mm -hmm. Hannah, yeah. thanks very much for Thank speaking you. to us. Thank you.